let me introduce how to use IPAX from five perspectives. First, let's talk about how to listen to the sounds by moving the chest piece on the screen. When you tap on the chest illustration displayed on the IPAX screen, the chest piece icon moves to that part and the sound plays. For example, when you tap on the left chest, you will hear the heart and lung sounds from that area. The sound changes as the chest piece moves. All sounds are synchronized, so the timing does not shift, making it sound just like a real person. Second, the heart and lung sound control buttons. You can turn the heart and lung sounds on and off using the icons displayed on the right side of the screen. This is useful when breath sounds interfere with listening to heart sounds. Third, the APTM buttons. IPAX has four buttons installed to hear the heart sounds on the correct site. When you press these buttons, the chest piece moves to the specified area, allowing you to hear the heart sounds at the point of maximum intensity for each area. Fourth, posterior auscultation. Pressing the circular arrow at the top right of the screen switches to the posterior. The operation for posterior auscultation is the same as for anterior chest auscultation. Tap the area you want to auscultate, and the sound on that area will play. Finally, the refresh button. When the sound on IPAX finishes playing, the sound will stop. In that case, the circular arrow at the bottom left of the screen will blink. Press this blinking button to refresh the sound source and listen to the sound again. As you can see, IPAX is an excellent simulator that allows for realistic auscultation with simple operations. As long as you have an internet connection, anyone can easily use it, so please give it a try. Please note that you will need earphones to hear the sound, so make sure to use earphones when using it.